Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how we can swap two numbers without using the third or the temporary variable. You can use this technique for any programming language, but you know I'm gonna be explaining that or you know demonstrating that with the C programming language. Let's say we're gonna have two variables. Let's say a and b, and let's say you know these two variables are containing the values 10 and 20. So now what we need to do is you know we need to make this a to contain 20 and the b to contain 10 so since we don't have the option to use the third variable we're gonna perform some operations on this uh, variables a and b and uh, through that operation we're gonna swap the values so what we're gonna do is you know we're gonna perform a plus b and we're gonna store that in our variable a so this a is containing the value 10 and b is containing 20 and because of this operation now this a is going to contain a value of 30 now what we're going to do is you know we're going to write b equal to a minus b now this a is containing 30 and b is containing 20 and that's why this b is going to contain 10 because you know 30 minus 20 is going to be 10 so this 10 is going to be the latest value which will be stored in this variable b and a is containing 30 and the next thing that we're going to do is you know we're going to write a equal to a minus b again so this time a is containing 30 and b is containing 10 you know 10 is the latest value of the variable b and that's why a is going to contain 20 so now you know we can see the value of these variables a and b has been swapped so a was previously containing value of 10 and b was containing 20 and now after this uh, three statements on or you know after these three operations a is containing 20 and b is containing 10 so the value has been swapped without using any variable so here uh, what we're gonna do is you know uh, we're gonna ask the user to enter the two numbers to swap and before that uh, we need some uh, variables you know this is the new project that that i have created in my uh, code blocks ide and this project is a c project so here we're gonna create the two variables so it's gonna be uh, a and uh, b and we're gonna ask the user to enter the values for these variables a and b so i'm gonna use a printf statement and uh, i'm gonna say enter the two values to swap and then uh, we're gonna add the new line just to make it pretty and then we're gonna use a scanf function and we're gonna receive the value and we're gonna store that in the variables a and b so it's gonna be percentage d and percentage d and we're gonna use the and a and it's gonna be and b so now uh, we're gonna say using the printf statement that uh, you know before swapping the values value of a and b is so it's gonna be before swapping um, a equal to percentage d and b equal to percentage d so we're gonna refer the a and b here all right the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is you know we're gonna swap the values without using the variable so as i explained you before we're gonna be using a equal to a plus b and then it's gonna be b equal to a minus b and again a equal to a minus b so this uh, three statement or you know these three operations are going to swap the values of these variables a and b and then i just going to copy this printf statement and i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to say after swapping and that's it our program is ready so uh, i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this and you know it says enter two values to swap i'm gonna enter 30 and i'm gonna enter 90 and uh, you can see here before swapping a is 30 and b is 90 and after swapping a is 90 and b is 30 
so you know i just forgot a new line here you know if i add this one then you know it's gonna look pretty so i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna run it again and again uh, i'm gonna enter 50 and 100 and before swapping a is 50 b is 100 and after swapping a is 100 and b is 50 so this is it guys this is how you guys can swap two numbers without using a third or the temporary variables in any programming language so this is it guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys can get the source code of this tutorial in my website learninglad.com and also you guys can find a lot of tutorials in that website and also you guys can like my facebook page and follow me on twitter and uh, once again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial